Hi, I'm Chris Wall, and today we're going to talk about cloud instantiation with Rubrik. So if you've been using the product or heard of it before, what we do is we actually protect VMware virtualized environments and other environments using SLAs. So in this case, as an example, I have a Rubrik cluster talking to my vSphere environment. And the way that we're protecting these different workloads within the environment is using SLAs. And that defines the RPO, RTO, replication, et cetera. Something popular that customers like to do is actually send that data to Amazon S3 for archive. So here we might have one or more buckets set up in S3. And we're actually sending that data for long-term archive to the Amazon Cloud using S3. With the 4.0 release, we're very excited to announce cloud instantiation. So the data that is already in S3 can now be acted upon. So let's say we have a virtual machine here. This is one of your prod workloads. And you wanted to instantiate it in Amazon as an EC2 instance for dev test, disaster recovery, something like that, analytics, et cetera. There's a lot of use cases. You can actually go into that virtual machine and do a power on cloud operation. And we'll actually spin up an EC2 instance for you that's sized appropriately based on the size and characteristics of the production virtual machine. You can control that and running in the cloud. So you can have on-demand dynamic workloads based on what's in your on-premises data center today. So if that tickled your noodle, check out what more Rubrik has in the 4.0 release, including some technical deep dives and other lightboards from my colleagues.